I'm Karima Owala, a professor of medical oncology from Hassan II University Hospital in Fez, Morocco. And I'm very pleased today to be at ESMO 2025, a huge meeting with very relevant and new data presented during the Congress. And I have the privilege uh, to share today a session on bladder cancer for the optimizing management of localized uh, uh, bladder cancer. And my main topic is about the adjuvant setting. So as we know that few years we had uh, nothing uh, than a chemotherapy, conventional cytotoxic chemotherapy in the adjuvant setting with less stronger uh, rationale comparing to the new adjuvant chemotherapy. But very recently, so we had huge data coming with the immunotherapy, different immunotric point inhibitors. Uh, let's start with the one of the most important, which is nivolumab with the Checkmate 274 that showed a benefit for the adjuvant nivolumab for the, the duration of one year for the high risk uh, muscle invasive bladder cancer by a, consi a consistent benefit in terms of DFS, uh, but also important trend for the OS. And this is established uh, the nivolumab as standard of care in the adjuvant setting for high risk localized bladder cancer. Uh, more than that, so we had also data coming from the ambassador trial, uh, which is a phase three trial uh, assessing the place of pembrolizumab in the adjuvant setting for high risk uh, localized bladder cancer. And this trial had the particularity to have two endpoints, two primary endpoints, the DFS and the OS. The DFS was significantly improved with the pembrolizumab, but the OS is negative at the interim analysis. We didn't see any difference between population PDL1 negative or positive, but so the, the approval for this drug is still pending, not yet present in the guidelines. Uh, we had also another phase two trial with the atezolizumab, which is uh, the Envigor 010, that was overall negative, but it guided us to an important concept, which is the one of the role of biomarkers, specifically the ctDNA since we had seen that the prognostic uh, and the outcome of patients who are CTDNA negative is much better than the ones that are CTDNA uh, positive. Uh, and more importantly, when we see the role of atezolizumab in this population with CTDNA positive disease, it seems that they draw benefit from the adjuvant atezolizumab. And with this concept, so it led to the conduction of the Endigar 011 uh, uh, trial assessing the role of atezolizumab in this specific population of CTDNA uh, positive uh, 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 bl bladder cancer after radical cystectomy. We had just uh, yesterday the uh, update from Professor Gatsky for the nivolumab and we have seen once again that the CDNA can be a highly um, a prognostic factor uh, in terms of prognosis and maybe uh, we will have it as future biomarker in the near future to uh, be better select patient for the adjuvant chemotherapy and many other ongoing trials are there like the modern trial. So with this I think that we had uh, came a long way from uh, nothing, from observation to adjuvant chemotherapy and then to better outcome with uh, immunotherapy in the adjuvant setting. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.